1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. And everything give thanks, for this is the will of Yahweh in Yahweh Shai concerning you. I want to give all praises and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash, forgive me the spirit to do this lesson. This will be an exhortation in the spirit to really, really think about what Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai has done for you. Okay. Are you not living in an answered prayer right now? Ask yourself this question. Are you not living in an answered prayer right now? Give Yahweh Bashim Shai the credit, the respect due for what they have done in your life. Okay, don't just focus on the misfortunes and the tribulations, which is part of your growth in this truth. You have to understand that. We all do. Okay, but Yahweh Bashim Shai is looking down from heaven through the angels to see if you're thankful for what they have done. All right. So when you pray and you ask for other things and you make your requests made known, okay, what you want. All right. Think about that, man. Don't forget that he's already answered that prayer, this prayer. You're living in one right now. Okay. So be thankful for that first. Okay. Be thankful for that first because Jake in the wilderness was not thankful. Okay. All the different things the Lord did for them, man. With salvation in general, man. Okay. Coming through, man. Yahweh Bashim Shai came through for Jake in Egypt. And look what they did, man. All right. They was looking for the next thing and ready to complain. All right. Let's read it again. First Thessalonians chapter five, verse 18. In everything, give thanks. Do you hear that? Okay. In everything, give thanks. You have to examine everything, man, to really be thankful and really understand what the Lord has done for you in this truth. All right, let's keep reading. For this is the will of Yahweh in Yahweh Shai concerning you. All right. So it's very important to think about this, man. Okay. And be sincere about it. Put down whatever is distracting you and focus on this. Okay, let's go to Proverbs chapter 3, verse 6. It says, In all thy ways acknowledge him. Okay, who is the him? Yahweh Bashim Shai. All right, and it says, And he shall direct thy path. Right, so you want Yahweh Bashim Shai to direct your path. Okay, but he's already done that, and you're not thankful. You're not giving the proper thanks. To what he has done in your life. Okay. When you needed him the most. And things didn't look good. And he came through. Boom. And you knew it was him. You knew it. You know. You was excited. All right. You knew. And you feel good about it. You got on your knees. You pray. You excited. Okay. But it's easy to forget. When you're in the world. And getting distracted by the things of the world. I should say. It's easy to forget. What he's already done. You're already looking for the next thing. No, man, won't you sit and meditate and be thankful for what he's already done for you, man? Okay, let's read it again. Proverbs 3, verse 6. And all thy ways acknowledge him, all your ways, man, and all your goings, and he shall direct thy path. Right. Okay. Keep your eyes single on your how about shim, how shot, and he shall direct you with wisdom. Okay, that comes from the throne of Yahweh. Okay, that's pure power. That's spiritual power. Wisdom is spiritual power. Okay, when you have wisdom, you have spiritual power. That's the truth. Okay, so just a quick, very quick hit, man, in the spirit to really meditate about, man, because every day when you wake up, okay, it's a chance to do better. It's a chance to have a better mindset in the inward man. Okay, the scriptures talk about the inward man growing day in and day out, though your outward man perish. Okay, yeah, our outward man is perishing and we're suffering. Okay, but we have to remember what the scriptures say. Through much tribulation shall you enter into the kingdom of heaven. So we ain't got no choice but to go this route if you want to be saved. We have no choice, man, so it is what it is. All right. 
But do not let Satan fool you and trick you. Do not let your tribulations get in between you and your how about Shemia Shai. You can read that in Romans chapter 8 towards the end, man. All right. Don't let the tribulations and different things get in the way of what the Lord has done. Don't let that happen, man, because that's your relationship. That's our relationship with Yahweh Bashimah with Shai. When he's doing things, he wants us to acknowledge that he did it. Okay? He wants us to give him praise, him honor, him respect. Okay? Through Yahweh Shai. All right? I'm sure we all got to do a better job than that because, you know, we're suffering and you get weak at times in his flesh. Okay? And you can forget, man. You can, you can forget, man, because this world is that big of distractions going on in this world, man. Okay, that's why the scriptures talk about keeping your eyes single so that your whole body will be full of light and no part dark. This world is full of darkness. So if you're getting too entertained by this world, man, you're going to get swept away by the darkness. You know, darkness is going to enter in. Okay, and that darkness can make you forget that quickly. OK, that quickly, man. So just a quick exhortation for you, brothers. I hope you were edified. I want to give all praises and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakan, Kadash. If you give me the spirit to do this lesson, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone and Shalom to you, Akim out there that's doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.